The third one um, is uh, foundation models and uh, generative AI and uh, value chain. You saw there that um, the parliament, of course, had much more time to um, come to a uh, position because we were um, way later uh, finished um, compared to the council um, general approach, which was almost one year um, before the parliament's uh, position um, published. And therefore, the parliamentarians, of course, saw the rise of ChatGBT, of Claude, of um, Lama, and so on and so on. Um, we tried um, as parliament um, especially to learn a little bit from um, digital platform um, problems that there are a few very market dominant uh, players that are um, kind of creating a value chain where a lot of other um, um, commercial actors are fully depending on them. Of course, that has then also rather strong implications for um, civil liberties, for human rights, and so on and so on. We tried in this AI value chain to make it a little bit more um, transparent, to accelerate the information sharing from upstream to downstream, and also to make sure um, that even though foundation models are not the focus of the AI Act, that they need to fulfill certain minimum criteria when it's um, coming to safety, when it's coming to um, cyber resilience, performance, and so on. Um, the council is not so far away from, from what I just said, but um, they, um, yeah, they, again, they didn't have that much time to prepare it. They didn't see all those things with ChatGBT that we in the parliament saw. So also here it's um, about finding the right wording. And I think where we can probably meet both of us, council and parliament, is really concentrating on the value chain, on the information sharing, and making sure that all the actors in the AI value chain are at least somehow covered by the AI Act. And in the end, that we allow the downstream actors to become compliant with the AI Act by having all the information necessary for being compliant.